guys. All right, so today I want to talk to you about making this. <laughs> so I know there's a few companies out there that have these sort of thick dimensional paints um, that when they're on the paper and they're dried like this, it looks like somebody melted a gold bar on the paper. Uh, Viva Decor has one called, I think they're called metallic modeling creams, I think. Um, and I think there's one other brand out there, but I can't remember what the name of it is. Anyway, I don't have any of those. But I wanted to use them on a journal page I want to do, which will be coming, that video will be coming out soon. And I wanted to um, do this pattern in gold, and this is one of my new stencils, um, the Arrow one. It's a six by six. Here it is, right here. And um, I wanted it, but I didn't have that cream, so I thought, hmm, I bet I have the stuff I could make something that works. And I think I did a pretty darn good job. What do you think? So um, I did these on um, this. I think is rice paper. I think it's either rice paper or old-fashioned typing paper. I don't remember which. And this kind of square shaped one is deli paper. You could do it on either one, but I, if you're going to do this and have this for a collage embellishment, do it on kind of a thinner paper that you can glue down and sort of still see the background through um, and not the paper so much. Um, that's what I like anyway. So let me show you how I did this. I do have another piece of paper here. So you're going to need a plate, a palette knife, or something to mix with. You're going to need some metallic paint. In this case I have Studio PBO Acrylics, um, High Viscosity Acrylics in uh, Rich Gold, number 350. You're going to need something to thicken the paint and to make it more um, dimensional and give it some texture. And gel medium is made for doing that. Most of your mediums, they're intended to be mixed with paint. That's what they were invented for. Us mixed media artists may use them as glue, but that's not what they were invented for. Um, this is Golden's Extra Heavy Gel Gloss. You don't want to do use a matte because it's going to take some of the shine out of it. The whole point of this is to have it be shiny and look like liquid metal. You're going to need some similarly colored glitter. This happens to be smoky quartz, but it's what I had that I without digging too much and it worked just fine. And then I'm going to mix that in and if that's not gold enough, <laughs> I have some Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals and this is Wake Me Up Gold. Go Gold. It looks like it says color B for you. I don't know, but it says go gold. Um, so this is what you do. So we're going to put some paint down on our plate. We're going to put some of our gel medium. I didn't measure it. I just kind of grabbed some gel medium. That's probably too much. So probably about you know half as much as paint or no more than 50-50 of each. And then we're going to add in some glitter. And we're going to add a healthy dollop of the Magicals. I'm going to use a coffee stirrer. and then mix it up with your palette knife. Now you probably could do this without adding the Magicals powder in or the glitter, but I think it just gives it some extra sparkle and shine. Um, it really depends on what you want, but I love the way this turned out and this is exactly how I did the other ones. So just give it a good mix. I would recommend only mixing enough that you need for your current project and not um, you know, mixing a whole bunch of it unless you have a super airtight container. But it doesn't, it only takes a minute to mix. And then once you have it mixed, you can take a piece of paper and a stencil and take a bit of your 
mixture that you just made and push it through the stencil make sure you're holding the stencil down firmly and make sure you're prepared when you're done to wash your stencil or to put it into a bucket of water um, because you don't want the gel medium to dry in your stencil it's not good for it I'm going to scrape off the excess and lift and there you go isn't that pretty that's a fun collage element to use in your journals, in your mixed media. So there you have it, your own metallic textured paint cream. I don't know what to call it. Maybe I'll think of something while I'm editing the video and you'll see it in the title of the video. I don't know. But that's a lot of fun and boy, I think it's even more sparkly when it's dry than it is when it's wet. So there you go. I hope that is a fun little tip for you and if you like this tip and would like to see more of them please let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to join one of my Facebook groups or send me happy mail or support my channel by shopping in my Etsy shop and maybe you want to buy the stencil. I have that one and this one. This is the other one that just came out. Go to my Etsy store, the link's in the description, my Happy Mail address, all that kind of stuff. Check it out. Check the description out before you leave. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.